Hello, welcome to the Bumpy Verse. All right, so what I have today, two brown ales. Uh, one is a New Hampshire brewery, Mo Mountain Brewing Company. They are out of North Conway, New Hampshire. Uh, and I have their Bone Shaker Brown Ale coming in at 5.4% ABV. Uh, I actually talked to a, a Moat Mountain rep because um, he saw me picking this beer up. Gave me a Moat Mountain koozie because I was buying the beer. But uh, yeah, he just kind of talked to me about it and uh, said that it doesn't come off as sweet as uh, some, some brown ales might come off. Uh, they use uh, some hops that... Um, Give it kind of a nice bitterness. Uh, this is about five weeks old at the uh, time of recording here. And I don't know, I don't remember what hops the guy said that they, they use in it. But anyway, so we got this one. And then this is the uh, new Newcastle that's now put out by Lagunitas Brewing Company. They're out of that place in California or Chicago, Illinois. Um, so go ahead and uh, I'm going to pour these into very similar shaker glasses. So I'll put the uh, New Hampshire one in my New Hampshire um, homebrew supply shop, uh, Kettle the Keg. I'll put, put the uh, New Hampshire one in this and then the uh, out-of-towner will go in the out-of-towner shaker class of 512 Brewing Company um, out of Texas from Flacco. So uh, I'm going to do my 50-point uh, bumpy inspection on both of these, kind of uh, kind of compare them, I guess. I'll do my best anyway. So let's go ahead and crack this, uh, both of these open, give it a pour, and uh, we'll start, uh, start things going. All right. First one, I'll just pop open the uh, Newcastle Brown. Comes in at 4.7% ABV as well. Didn't mention that, so a little bit of a, of a difference in alcohol, but uh, by about what 0.7 or so. Um, so that's the. Oh, I don't know if that's. I hope that thing doesn't fall over. Um, that's that one. All right. That's the other one. Um, So just kind of looking at them, uh, the head on the Newcastle is tighter bubbles, uh, pretty similar colored head, a little bit off uh, white, a very, very light cat-ish uh, color on the head. Um, the Moat Mountain head, uh, medium and fairly large bubbles. The color, now from what I can see, I mean, they're very, very similar in color. The Newcastle actually looks a little bit darker. I don't know if we can... It might just... Yeah. Yep, the Newcastle one is definitely darker, but they both have um, very good clarity to them. Let's see if we can get this in a little bit there. So... All right. The aromas. Newcastle. bit of a, a nutty kind of a tad bit of roast very delicate and light this one uh, smells the uh, the bone shaker from Oat Mountain smells 
maybe a little bit less of a nuttiness to the aroma. Um, still some roastiness. I'm actually kind of picking up on a little bit of a, a metallic note. But this one does have a stronger aroma to it. All right. Uh, first swig. We'll go with the Newcastle one first. Yeah, a bit of a, a nuttiness. Um, very, very mild kind of um, roasted malt coming through. Um, it doesn't come off like coffee flavor, it's just kind of that, that roasted malt thing. Um, balancing bitterness. Um, very, very light um, bitterness that remains afterwards. Uh, but the the overall flavor is kind of that little bit of uh, like I said nuttiness and stuff uh, kind of uh, washes away um, with the very light and thin body on this thing um, carbonation so it's a uh, high high medium um, carbonation almost going into into a, um, a like <laughs> high carbonation. Uh, all right, let's. I didn't. I'm not gonna rinse my palate. This is pretty light, anyways. So I'll set that there. Um, let's go for the bone shaker brown ale. Yeah, the uh, same with the with the aroma. It, this has more of that roasted malt note. Kind of a nuttiness does come up afterwards. Not picking up on any uh, metallic flavoring, so that's that's a positive. Um, there is a, a stronger bitterness in this one. It does it does linger on, um, but you are left with more of that uh, roasted, darker malt flavor a little bit longer on the on the uh, tongue um, with this. But it is a a fairly I'd say um, high side light to uh, very low on the medium side for for body feel, but it does have a, a quite a bit of a, like a watery consistency, much like the uh, the Newcastle one. Uh, carbonation on this one is. Say um, on the low side of like a medium carbonation, almost um, yeah, right there. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, and put down the uh, the numbers for both of these um, in my comparison thing here, and uh, yeah, be back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I did sip on these both while I was going through uh, the scoring, just to kind of uh, remember and 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 just really do a little bit more of a comparison so it's kind of back and forth but um, I've got my my final numbers down uh, we'll go with the Newcastle first um, and I'm not gonna go through the whole breakdown of everything I'm just gonna go with my, my five um, so the appearance one out of six Newcastle gets a five um, the aroma one out of ten gets an eight Flavor, 1 out of 19 gets a 12. Body, 1 out of 5 gets a 4. And drinkability, 1 out of 10, I gave it a 6. Um, 
some of the things that uh, affected the scoring on this was just uh, how, how light and everything it was. It was just basically very light bodied, watery, um, not a lot of, not a ton of flavor coming through. Um, nothing really lasting. Um, and I mean, to, to style, you know, probably fantastically made, but my overall, um, feeling of it just, uh, I would, I would like, I would like more out of it. Um, so the rating for this one got the Newcastle got a 35 out of 50, which gives us a B. All right. Now the uh, Bone Shaker from Moat Mountain Brewing. Overall appearance, um, and just so you know, the, the appearance um, does have color clarity and head retention. So some of these, it's uh, it's due to like head retention. The Newcastle had, um, they both went down, but it did have a, a, a longer lasting head film over the top with this um, bone shaker one just really opened up and basically didn't really leave anything um, some some styles you know they really shouldn't have a lot uh, lasting head anyways but I think there's nothing that's really keeping these from having a decent head um, so appearance for the bone shaker I gave it a 3 out of 6 aroma I gave it an 8 out of 10 uh, the flavor, I gave it a 15 out of 19. Body, I gave it a 5 out of 5. Um, I did like that. It had a, at least a uh, more of a medium body, even though it, it is kind of watery. And the drinkability, I gave it a 7 out of 10. Um, I did prefer to drink this one a little bit more. Um, I'd much rather have the Bone Shaker Brown Ale over the Lagunitas Newcastle. Um, it's just seem to have uh, a little bit more robust flavors and yes it did have a slight advantage on alcohol which is probably due to more malt being used which would explain all of that but um, anyway the overall score for the bone shaker brown ale gave it a 38 out of 50 making it a B plus beer so cheers guys thank you for watching